Okay, here you have the standard Alpha Sterling. As you can see, the um, the crankshaft and the push rods occupy as much, if not more, space than the actual pistons themselves. Um, it's not necessarily a uh, efficient design. Uh, you can increase the efficiency quite a bit by going to the uh, horizontally opposed standard as you see here. Uh, this reuses the dead space of the crankshaft quite efficiently. Um, this is why you have a lot of V8s and horizontally opposed engines in the marketplace today. This is my version of a standard Alpha Sterling. As you can see, the floating barbell looking piston allows greater flexibility in using odd engine shapes. The handle of the barbell is hollowed out, allowing hydraulic fluid to replace the connecting rods. By doing this, you can make the strokes virtually as long as you want without changing the size of the crankshaft. The fat cylinder to the left acts like gearing, giving it very high torque while compacting the size. Physically, this engine is one-fourth to one-third the size of its con conventionally designed counterpart. The long strokes make it ideal for use in thermal solar panels or for plucking power from internal combustion exhaust. Its compact size favors this as well. This hydraulic approach to crankshafts is especially suited for the slower engine speeds, ideal for ster sterlings. When at rest, to keep the seals and rings from bleeding, the hydraulics can be manipulated with solenoids such that both hot and cold sides come to rest in the middle position. This is a kind of reset that puts the chambers back into balance no matter how leaky the seals are.